All right, you guys. Uh, I do apologize. I uh, went a little over in my last class uh, so I could uh, get everybody to, to read that was there. So, all right, but I'm finally here. And I had internet problems at the very, very, very beginning. So, um, all right, so this class is... Uh, is uh, uh, I, I like to call it a beginner's class because we're we're talking about basic things, okay? But we uh, I also like to talk about different ways to use the words as well, okay? So getting into uh, maybe some idioms or uh, um, or verbal uh, uh, or sorry uh, phrasal verbs, okay? If there are any that exist with that word, okay? They don't exist for every word, okay? Um, but uh, we do have we do have some, right? Uh, so let's see who we have here so far. Uh, Flavio, how are you doing, Flavio? I'm fine, Andrew. Uh, there you are. I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Yeah. Welcome, uh, welcome to class. Good to have you here. Thank you. All right, man. Uh, Juan. Hi again, teacher. Hey, how you doing, man? How's everything going? Yes, <laughs> good, good. All right, uh, we also have uh, Lorena. Hi, teacher. Hi, Lorena. How you doing? Hi, teacher. I'm very well. Good, good. Good to see you here in class. Hi, hey, teacher. Great. Uh, let's see. Uh, we also have uh, Mon. Yes, teacher. Uh, Mon Thin, how are you? Fine, fine, and you? Uh, I'm doing good, Lorena. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can get Mon, uh, who's right next to you, to see if he can answer. But I don't know if uh, if he is answering okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, you guys. Well, um, uh, for those of you that are here, let me give you the uh, link that we are going to be working on. Okay. Looks like we uh, just got the rest of everybody into class. Okay, so uh, this here in the chat box is the uh, is the link. Okay, to what we will uh, we will be working on uh, if it's working. There we go. Okay, so there there's the link. Go ahead and uh, and open that up. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's see who else we have here. Hey, uh, Flavio, uh, Flavio. There seems to be a lot of noise coming from your from your microphone. Can you keep your microphone muted, please? Flavio. Yes. Yes. Flavio. There's there's a lot of noise. There's scratching, and we hear birds and things like that in the background. Can you keep your microphone muted? Okay. Great. Thank you. All right. Let's see who else we have. Uh, to get. Welcome, uh, welcome back to class. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Great. Too? I'm doing good. I'm doing really good. Thank you. All right. Uh, we also have. Let's see. Mon, Mon, is your uh, microphone working? Okay. Um, Lorena. Um, yes, teacher. Is, uh, ¿Se puede poner su micrófono en silencio? Uh, podemos escuchar el pájaro que está gritando ahí a, a, atrás. Okay? Y se, se oye un poco fuerte. Morning, please. All right. Thank you. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Liliana, how are you? Uh, hi, Chad. Uh, my connection um, is failed in your previous class, so I couldn't oh, really? attend to your class. I, yeah. I thought uh, I thought you were just really upset that I came in late. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's what you call. No, and I only uh, stayed in class at least five minutes, I think, because I had yeah. some uh, in, uh, problem with my connection. <laughs> so hopefully yeah. it works well in this class. Uh, by the way, uh, very good Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you. All right, let's uh, let's see. Okay, Flavio, Flavio. Yes. All right, uh, uh, please please keep your microphone uh, on silent, okay? Because it's okay. it's really it's really scratchy. Every time you turn it on, we hear a, a really bad buzz that's coming through. Okay, so keep it on silent until it's your turn to talk. 
All right. Uh, let's see. We also have uh, Carlos. Carlos, how are you? Hi. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, Carlos, where are you from? I am from Colombia. Thank you. Great. Great. Uh, and I believe this is the uh, the first time you've been in class with me. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, the first time. Great. Uh, now, uh, what uh, what do you do? I am a system engineer. Oh, very cool. How long have you been working as a uh, systems engineer? Mm, about 15 years old. Okay, so about 15 years now. Great. Great. Good to, <laughs> yes. good to have you here. Good to have you here. Um, how about, uh, let's see, uh, how are you? Bader, is your microphone working? All right, I'll uh, see if I can come back to you. Uh, Amar, how are you doing? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing okay. How, how was your weekend? Uh, not so much. I uh, play uh, PlayStation 2. <laughs> okay. Were you playing uh, Call of Duty? No, no, Call of Duty and PlayStation 3. We play PlayStation 2 uh, Peace Soccer. Okay, cool. <laughs> Very cool, man. Yeah. Awesome. Well, good to have you back here in class. Thanks. All right. Let's uh, let's see. Uh, Man, is your is your microphone working? Uh, just because you're hearing me now. Are. Yeah, I can hear you just yeah. fine. Great. Yeah, but... Man, how how are you today? Yeah, I'm doing well. And you? I'm doing really good. Thank you for asking. I'm glad to have you uh, here in class. Yes. Um, All right. I just have a problem in micro microphone. Ah, okay. Yes. All right. Yeah, but it sounds like it's working fine now. Okay. Yeah, thank you. All right. How about uh, Badir? Is uh, is your mi microphone working okay? All right. Looks like uh, he, just uh, he dropped. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So for those in listening land, we've got one more space space here. Uh, Tolgahan made it in. How you doing? Fine, thank you. Hi again. Great. Hello again. Yes. Uh, and this picture here with uh, um, the V for Vendetta mask. Okay, yeah. that's one of my favorite yeah. movies. I, I love that it. movie. No, it's great. It's good. Oh, I, I like it. it. I like it. It's good. Uh, very good. Uh, welcome back. Let's go to uh, Halit. How are you? I am fine, thanks. And you? Teacher? Good. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Now, is your name pronounced Halit or Halit? Yes. Um, how do I pronounce your name? With the accent at the beginning or at the end? Is it Halit or Halit? Uh, what? I... You, your name, your name. Halit. Your, your name. Uh, how, how do I pronounce your name? Uh, Halit Ur. Okay, so Halit with the accent at the end. Very good. So, uh, Halit, where are you from? I am from Turkey. From Turkey. Great. Okay, good to have you here. Okay, class. Um, let's, uh, let's go to, uh, to our document. I'll put that uh, in the chat box one more time. Okay, if you are in uh, the Google chat, let me uh, put that there for you as well. It's like uh, Amar had, has already done that also. Okay, so the uh, the link when you open this up, this is what you will see. Okay, and we have a lot of uh, of uh, flashcards with uh, with different pieces of of clothing. Okay, now if uh, if there is uh, another way to use that hat, or, or sorry, that word, uh, I was looking at hat down here, and so I said hat. Um, if there is another way to use that word, okay, or um, if there is another name we call that particular item, I will let you know, okay. Uh, but not every uh, not every item has has different uh, words or different uh, different ways to use it. So. Some may be really good. Some may just be that word. Okay, so we'll we'll go through and uh, and uh, we'll see how we can use these words. Okay, and start building our vocabulary. 
All right. Uh, let's start over on the uh, the right hand side with Tuya. Okay, and I'm going to zoom in. All right. So, Thuyet, uh, please read our first word. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you just fine. Okay. Belt. Yes, the word is belt. Okay, with a short E class, that is belt. Okay. Now, um, a belt, okay, a belt you put around your waist, okay, and uh, who can tell me what a belt is used for? What do we use a belt for? Go ahead and speak up. Okay, yeah, hold to hold up your pants or your shorts, okay, all right, uh, why else would we wear a belt? My, my wife sometimes wears a belt for, for fashion, just to show. It's not holding up her pants or uh, not holding her dress or anything like that, but it's for fashion. Okay, so for a, for a look. Okay, for fashion. Okay. And uh, uh, how, many, how many people like to wear a belt? Ah. Katya, yes, that's a that's another way to use the belt. Okay, so um, yes, I use a belt as well every every day, Carlos. Okay, uh, so um, yes, uh, Katya here um, brought up an interesting point. Belt. Okay, sometimes we use it to punish children. Okay, I was hit by oh a God. belt when I was younger. <laughs> when I did something wrong, my dad, my father, he would take off his belt and he would hit me. All right, but it didn't last for very long because then I learned my lesson. Okay, now that also, um, when we use the word belt, that means to hit something hard. Okay, so if you are watching a uh, a a game, okay, maybe a baseball game, we can say, "Wow, he belted that ball." Okay, and to belt or meaning that he hit the ball very hard and it went very far. So a belt not only is just an item we wear around our waist, but we use it okay, as a verb. Okay, We say to belt, to belt something, to hit something very far, Okay, or to hit something very hard. Okay, So when I was younger, my dad would belt me with a belt. Okay, when I did things wrong, <laughs> right? So, so he hit me hard with a belt. Okay, uh, good. Let's uh, let's go to uh, Tolgahan. Let's go to our next word here. All right, what's uh, what's this word right here? Spirit. Okay, now this is a French word. Mm -hmm. The word is beret. Beret. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, ber a beret. Okay, and uh, you see the guy kind of looks like he has a French mustache. Okay, yeah. This is a beret. Beret. Right. It's a small. It's a. It's a small type of hat. Yes. This is me. It's my name. Tolga. Oh, really? That's what. That's yeah. your name. Interesting. Interesting. Now, um, uh, beret, have you used the word, or, or sorry, have you heard the word beret used in, a, in another way, class? No. Okay. All right. That's fine. Have you, uh, have you heard it to uh, mean uh, any group of people? Okay. Maybe the red berets? Ah, yes. Okay. Class, or class. the green, yeah, the red berets, they flew. Okay, the Green Berets, okay, the Green Berets are a uh, military uh, in the, uh, in the uh, United States uh, military. It's the Army, okay, the Army Special Forces, the Green Beret, okay. Um, uh, the word would be head, 
Okay, so you wear a beret on your head. All right, mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, sometimes uh, you may see people wear a beret for fashion nowadays. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, very good. And uh, interesting, Togahan, I didn't know that your name meant uh, meant beret or something that you wear wear on your head like that. Great. Um, all right, let's go to Man, and we'll go to our next word. Yes, Che Che Guevara. He he wore a uh, uh, a a beret. Okay, very good. Okay, so Man, yes. what is this word here? Um, leisure. Leisure. Okay. All right, so let's practice that. It is blazer, blazer. Blazer. There you go. One more time. Blazer. Blazer. Good, good. Now, um, another another name for this, okay, would be a a a jacket, okay, but more more like a uh, maybe a dinner jacket, okay. Uh, that's probably a, a better word to call that a dinner jacket. Okay, with a blazer, you don't necessarily wear a tie. Okay, uh, so you, it's just something that uh, that you put on on over uh, maybe over a dress shirt, but you do not wear a tie. Okay, it would be a uh, a dinner jacket or a jacket that you would wear to go out. Um, it's similar to a suit, but when you refer to a suit, cat, um, you're talking about wearing a suit and a tie. Okay, when you wear a blazer, you do not wear a tie. It's only the, the blazer. Sometimes people wear t-shirts with a blazer. Okay, um, maybe a button-up shirt. Okay, something like that, but never a tie. Okay, it's a, it's semi, semi-formal. Semi-formal, okay. Um, uh, does anybody in class like to wear a blazer? Yes, I um, I use it. I wear it. Okay. I wear it okay. uh, when I yeah. was at school, like a, uh -huh. a school uniform in my school. Good. Uh -huh. Yes. So so females can wear a blazer. Okay. Males can wear a blazer. Uh, Lorena, you say you like to wear blazers as well. Yes, I I use blazer with with in, in meetings. Uh -huh. Yes, and my work. And my Good. work, I use blazer. Yeah, mm -hmm. excellent. Okay. Uh, anybody else like to use a blazer? No, I, I do every once in a while. I used to have a really nice one that I would wear, uh, but uh, I had to leave it in the United States because here in Costa Rica, it's a little too warm to wear a blazer, <laughs> so I don't do that. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's move on. Hey, holy cow! Uh, there's, <laughs> I have a, a a window right in front of me, uh, and the, and I have curtains, and I have the biggest ant I've ever seen in my whole entire life crawling up my curtains right now. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. What is, what is holy cow? Sorry, when you say holy, holy cow. Holy is, cow. It's like uh, it's like saying Allah. Uh, well, it's like saying uh, it's like saying instead of saying a cuss word, it's okay. like. Um, Okay, it's like if I were to say um, a la miércoles. Instead of saying the, uh, the actual cuss word, I say uh -huh. miércoles in, uh -huh. uh, instead of the real word. So it's like saying holy cow um, uh -huh. or something like that. Uh, that's okay. that's kind of what the phrase is. So instead of saying a cuss word, I would say that, holy cow. All right? <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's see, you guys. Let's go to... All right, so let's go to this next word here. Dang it, I did it again. All right, and this is for, who is my last uh, reader? I think that was uh, Man. Uh, so let's go to uh, Lorena. Okay, Lorena, um, what is this word right here? Uh, blows? Yeah, blow. This is blows. Blau, blouse, blau, blouse. Try that one more time. Blouse. There you go. That's it. Blouse. Blouse. Now. Blouse. Blouse. A blouse is what women wear. Okay. Yes. So guys, guys do not wear 
uh, blouses. Okay. Shirts. Yeah. So it's a it's a uh, it's a shirt. Usually a button up shirt. Usually we button it up, um, like you see there. That would be a uh, a blouse, and it is for females. Okay. And it's uh, usually worn. Uh, um, you can have a a, a, a a blouse that you wear just whenever. Okay. Um, it doesn't need to be something fancy. Okay. You can wear a blouse uh, to the park. Okay. Um, anything like that. It, uh, it blouse is usually a button-up shirt. Okay. For for females. So men uh, men do not wear blouses. Okay. Uh, let's go to. Let's uh, scroll down. Teacher. Yes. Eh, cuando es blusa manga larga, ¿cómo se dice? Blouse. Blouse. Yep. Um, we just we don't have. You can say a short sleeve blouse or a long sleeve blouse. Blouse longer. Uh, uh, you can say a short sleeve, short sleeve or long sleeve. Okay. Okay. Thank um, you. But yeah, there there isn't a, another word for it, um, and and sometimes they just say uh, blouse. Ha! I killed it. Ha! Got it. It, it tried to come on my desk, so I killed it. The, that huge ant. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, Liliana. Okay, cap. Okay, cap. Okay, now uh, the word cap used to be used a lot. How else, or what else, can we call this class? What other name have you heard for a cap? Good, Ahmad. He says hat. Okay, a hat is more commonly used. Okay, um, I can I can almost say with certainty that we do not say the word cap. Okay, unless you are older, unless you are older, uh, we will not hear. You'll not have hear someone say cap. Okay, we use hats. Okay, it's a baseball hat. Okay, a basketball hat. Okay, things like that. Now, cap, cap we use uh, in a different way. Okay, um, so you can say uh, a, a cap, maybe a lid. Okay, something that you put on maybe a milk jug. Okay, a cap. Okay, uh, there's also a phrase that uh, that is uh, put a cap on it. Okay, put a that means shut up. Okay, um, and you say it. Uh, you say it uh, kind of aggressively. Okay, you say put a cap on it. Okay, uh, and that means shut up or be quiet. Okay, uh, you, it's also it's also said put a put a lid on it as well. So there's two ways. So that means, you know, cover your mouth, be quiet, stop talking, put a cap on it. Okay. Um, Yes, and Ahmad says, yeah, there is a pen cap, okay? Have you heard of another way to use the word uh, cap or hat? Uh, cap, uh, she capped the bottle, so I heard that. Yeah. She capped the bottle, uh-huh, mm -hmm. definitely. Taxi, but I don't know, cab, this cab or another cab? Um, that, that's actually pronounced cab. A taxi, taxi cab, and that's with a B. Taxi cab, okay. Cap would be with a P. All right. Um, now um, remember a while ago um, uh, in uh, let's see the the British petroleum oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, when they had all that oil, the oil was emptying into the uh, into the ocean. Okay, they wanted to cap the well. Okay. Cap the well. That means seal. Okay. Uh, so when you cap something, okay, you are sealing it. That's making sure that it, it, nothing else comes out. You seal. Okay. Seal it. Okay. Cap the well. Okay. Yeah. So uh, again, uh, we do not say cap. Okay. Cap is a very old word. We say hat. Ah, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. We say hat. Okay, you won't hear uh, anyone from probably about 50 years and younger 
-hmm. say uh, say cap. They say hat. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a hat. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's an informal right. hat, I think. Yeah, it's an informal hat, uh, just like uh, you see here. Okay, uh, this is an informal uh, an informal hat. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, it may it may have come from uh, top hat. Okay, and then we just kind of uh, um, kept using that, and it, then it was just shortened to hat instead of top hat. Uh, but yeah, cap cap is not a word that we use very much anymore. Okay, uh, when we are meaning uh, something that you place on your head. Okay. All right. Okay, I have a question. Sure. Uh, the, the 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 police. How we said cop. Um, that is going to be cop with an O, cop. Cop, yeah. Yeah, and that comes from copper. All right, and so uh, back in the early 1800s, uh, 1800s into their uh, 1900s, uh, they would call uh, a police officer a copper. Okay, a copper, and then that shortened uh, to cop. Okay? Okay. Thanks. When yes. uh, baseball players use this, you always say, uh, it's a baseball cap? Uh, we say hat. It's a baseball uh, hat. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and if you use the word cap, we'll understand you. Uh, mm -hmm. We know what the word is, but we don't use it. It's, a, it's just an old word. Mm -hmm. Just an older word. Okay? Okay. All right. Uh, let's go to uh, uh, Halit. Yes. Alit. All right. What is this word right here? Uh, it is a bag. Okay. Yes, you're right. It is a bag. It is a small bag. Uh, small what does bag. that? What does this word right here? What do these words say? Change purse. Good. Yes, it is a change purse. purse. Change purse. Yes. Okay. And um. Uh, it, it, this would not be common for uh, for men to have. Okay, you can have a. Uh, uh, it wouldn't be a, a purse, but you could have a change bag. Okay, but uh, um, some females have these. Uh, uh, the ladies in uh, in class, do you carry a change purse? Yes, yes, to to put in all the coins. Okay, yeah, to put the coins there. All right. Um, yeah. Um, and, and, and guys, we would probably, uh, in most cases, put change or put coins into our pockets, in our pants. We don't have a special place for it. It just goes in our pockets, in the pants, okay? Uh, so yeah, uh, change purse, that would be uh, uh, principally for, uh, for females, okay? Uh, let's go to uh, Carlos. Okay. Right, Carlos. Um, <clears throat> Our next word here, what is this word? A coat, coat, coat. coat. Yeah, there you go, with a T at the end, coat. Coat. There you go. So class, the O-A here in the middle, coat. okay, makes an O sound. We do not pronounce the A, okay? The word is not coat, coa. We, it is only coat. Coat is usually for winter. <laughs> I use uh, yes. When when the day is very cold, I use I you I wear I wear coat. Yes, when it's cold, you usually wear a coat. coat. Okay. What is another name for a coat? Jacket. Good, a jacket. Okay, a jacket is a is another name for it. Um, now you can have um, different kinds of uh, of jackets. Okay, uh, you can have a uh, a uh, a jacket that's for the snow. Okay, and that would be like a snow coat, over, over coat. Okay? or snow jacket. Yeah, an overcoat. Who had said that? Overcoat. Is is similar or okay. is the same? Uh, overcoat is similar or is the same? It's a it's a little different, a little different. Um, it is still a coat, but it's more like a trench coat. 
Okay, uh, an overcoat is sort of like a trench coat. Um, but yes, you're putting it over your clothes. Okay, so uh, so let's uh, let's take a look here. Okay. Teacher, uh, I'm different uh, yes. in in coat and and jacket. Sometimes is coat is more large and jacket. Um, they they would be synonymous. Okay, and remember, it would not be coat. It is coat. Coat, coat with an, with only coat. an O sound. Coat is what? more is more large and jacket. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Okay, thanks. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's see here. Is it, so, is sorry. Um, is it real coat? Yes. Um, it would be. It would be. Uh, um, you can call it a raincoat. Okay, yeah. there are there are differences now. Wow. Now this here, okay, this is an overcoat. Okay, coat. so coat. you can see you can you put it. Uh, it's a little bit longer. You see how it's longer. All right, and yeah. uh, you see how he's wearing a tuxedo here, and then he has a coat that goes over. Okay, the rest of what he's wearing. Another word for that um, would be. Oh, did I? Was I not showing that? I apologize if I wasn't showing that. Okay, these are these are uh, overcoats. Uh -huh. Okay, um, another name for it would be trench coat. Okay, and we use this uh, for the rain. This would, another word for it would be a raincoat, but the proper word is overcoat or trench coat. Okay, so you wear that to. Uh, um, uh, it's not very thick. Okay, it's not going to be a very thick uh, coat or jacket. Okay, um, but it it, it will it, the rain will not be able to get through. Mm -hmm. Okay, it'll keep you dry, and that's the main purpose of it. Okay, to keep you dry. All right, and keep the rest of your clothes dry. Now, a snow coat will probably be very thick, and it's meant to keep you warm so that you are not cold. All right. Um, uh, there's also wind, wind breakers. Okay, so a wind breaker. Okay, a wind breaker is meant for the wind. Sometimes um, the wind. It, it may not be really cold outside, but the wind is very strong. Okay, and so you wear a wind breaker so that you you don't feel the wind um, uh, on your skin because that can make you feel colder. All right, um, and just to kind of clear up, in, in some cases a jacket and a coat, okay, um, they're used interchangeably, okay. Or in other words, uh, we as English speakers don't give them a, uh, um, we don't differentiate them at times, okay. Some people do, some people don't. Okay. All right, and it's okay. You don't have to. Okay. So uh, an overcoat and. French coat, uh, they are larger than a uh, coat? Uh, yes, they would go down to your knees. Okay, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, if not longer. Uh, for females, sometimes they go longer, they, they may go past your knees, okay? But uh, normally, uh, at an okay size, okay, or a normal size, that goes down to about your knees. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, you see uh, in, uh, in uh, movies, and things like that. You see, police officers or detectives, they wear a, an overcoat or a trench coat. Okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you. All right. Very good. Um, all right. Let's uh, let's go to uh, another word here. Okay. We're going to skip over this word because corduroys aren't used very much anymore. They're not in fashion. Um, if you want to know what corduroys are. There, it's just it's actually a material, and it's hard to see. Uh, how do I spell? Yeah, here we are. Okay, it's a material that's uh, sort of like a corrugated pant. Um, this is probably the uh -huh. best view. Velvet pant. Okay, very yeah, warm. So yeah, it, this is a corduroy, a corduroy mm -hmm. pant. Okay, um, they're not uh, they're not that fashionable anymore. Okay, they used to be very fashionable in the uh, 80s and 90s, but yes, not anymore. So uh, we're going to skip right over that one. All right. Okay, so 
uh, this word here. Let's go to my next reader. Uh, this is Amar. Yes. Cowboy right. boots. Yes, cowboy boots. Okay, and um, you don't. You do not necessarily have to be an actual cowboy, okay, or cowgirl, uh, to wear these type of boots. Okay, uh, they could be fashionable, is all. Now, um, is there anybody in class uh, that enjoys wearing um, uh, cowboy? Cowboy boots. Yeah, yes, me. Anybody have cowboy boots? I have. Okay, Liliana has oh. cowboy boots. Yes, I usually okay. uh, wear with um, jeans. Okay, that you wear with jeans. All right. Okay, anybody else in class have cowboy boots? I do not. I, ha I have a question no. about cowboy. Boots. Yes, for riding a horse. Okay, for riding a horse. And uh, uh, Amar, what uh, what is your question? Uh, what's the purpose from uh, the back of the boat? They have something. Ah, yes, that is a, a spur. Those are called spurs. Okay, just like that. And uh, let's uh, let's get a better shot of what a uh, a spur would be. Okay. And uh, and then I can explain a little bit more of what it is. Okay. Uh, so cowboy. <coughs> Spurs. Okay, so, all right. So you see, uh, you see here mm -hmm. on the back of the cowboy boot. All right. Um, this is used to uh, kick, to kick the horse. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you dig that into the side of the horse, and that makes the horse want to go faster. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's uh, it's basically like uh, uh, stabbing the back of the horse. <laughs> okay, and uh, if you uh, if you uh, see that when when they're riding and they're on the back because they they kick back with their legs. Okay, they kick back or maybe with one leg or with both legs, but they kick back and that hits the horse and it and it makes the horse upset and make them want to run really fast. Okay, but because they, they think that they're getting stabbed or something like that. They don't know it's the actual rider that's on the horse that's doing it. But you can uh, hurt the horse with the spurs? Yes, you can. Uh, um, no. Not not a lot of people use spurs anymore, but they uh, they still kick or they slap. They slap the back of the horse. I think it's okay? it has, slap. <laughs> yeah, it has the, uh, the same effect, okay, uh, to kick or to... Uh, to uh, spur, okay, uh, has the same sort of effect. But that's uh, that's the purpose. Those are called spurs, spurs, okay. Okay. Very good question. Yeah, and uh, yeah, cowboy boots. Uh, they uh, they've come back into fashion a little bit more nowadays, or at least a boot that is that's similar, okay, to looking like a cowboy boot. All right. Um, okay. Let's uh, let's go back to the top. We're gonna go to uh, Zufar. Hi, teacher. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Great. I'm doing good. Thank you. All right. So, cuff links. Uh, cuff links. Cuff links. Very good. So, cuff links. Okay. What are the purpose of cuff links? Class? Is that is positive or negative? I think fashion. Cuff. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, cufflinks. Cufflinks are used on shirts. Okay, and they're um, usually very uh, fancy shirts. Uh -huh. Okay, and uh, it's uh, used to close close the end of the of the shirt. Okay, um, they used to be uh, they used to be the only way you could uh, you could close them because buttons uh, were not uh, were not used. Uh, that way, okay. But elegant. nowadays, yes, it is very elegant, okay. And a lot of times they're they're uh, very expensive, okay. I used to wear, uh, I used to have uh, a few shirts that I would wear that had that had cufflinks, okay. And I would wear them in in certain occasions, okay, with uh, with the cufflinks that I had that I had purchased, right. And uh, yeah, it's a uh, 
it's uh, a li it's more elegant. Okay, it's it's fancy. Okay, so the are uh, elegant like this and fancy. Yeah. They are, I mean, the same fancy and elegant. They mean. The uh, yeah, yeah, they're 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 similar. Okay, so they they would they would be synonyms. Now, uh, is there anybody in class that uh, likes to use shirts with cufflinks? No, Carl, Carlos I, says I no. Use. I don't okay. use. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I use it. Halid says okay. I haven't ah. used. Mahmed cufflinks. does. Yeah. Okay. I have. It. Okay. Now, do you uh, do you like them? Uh, yes, I like it. Yeah, I, it uh, I, it. There was a time when I actually preferred it, and so I bought uh, I bought like three or four shirts that would use uh, cufflinks, and then I went cufflink shopping, and I, I liked it. I, I I liked wearing those cufflinks, really, um, but yeah. they uh, they tended to get in the way sometimes because they stick out. They stick um, out far, right? And I was like, ah, I don't need these anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Yes. So cufflinks. It's for elegance. Okay. Okay. Very good. Sometimes, okay. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, when I go to the meeting, uh, I need them. No? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, you would wear them to uh, business meetings. Okay. Yes. Things like that. Yeah. They're they're uh, they're really really it's cool to use. Nice. <laughs> yeah. They look really nice. I like them. I like them personally. Okay. Cool. Let's uh, let's go to uh, to yet, and our next word. Okay. So to yet. Okay. A down jacket. Good. A down jacket. A down jacket. Yeah. Now, who knows what down is? Okay, when we're talking about uh, jackets, okay, or even uh, even blankets, there may be some uh, blankets or sleeping bags, but that is a down. Okay, what uh, what is inside of a down jacket? Uh, 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 or cold. Okay, Cotton, feathers. I think. Cotton, yeah. Feathers. Cotton. It would be feathers. Uh, so uh, down, down is another way to say feather. Okay, so you can have a uh, a down blanket. Okay, and it's usually very soft. Okay, uh, you can have a down pillow. Okay, a down sleeping bag, as well as a down jacket. Okay, uh, let's take a look at some other uh, other images. Okay, of down jackets. Okay, and they're they're usually going to be very puffy. Okay, so these are down jackets. Have you seen people wear these sort of jackets before? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. They are very very warm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, there's there's different uh, different styles. Okay, um, the more expensive ones are actually filled with feathers. Okay, they actually have feathers in them. Um, uh, cheaper ones would be uh, uh, filled with another another type of material. Uh, yes, uh, maybe maybe cotton or polyester. Okay, inside, but the purpose of them is to keep you warm. It's like a snow jacket. That would be another way to uh, to call this. Okay, a a snow jacket okay instead of calling it a uh, a down jacket okay um, all right let's go to uh, Tolgahan okay, I'm looking to dress 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 good good yes that is a dress um, and uh, lately we've been going over DR sounds with a, with a lot of my students as well as TR. Uh, remember, class, when you pronounce a D and an R, you want to uh, create one sound instead of saying D S. Okay, you want you want to. Uh, uh, it's going to be one one sound together. D dress. Dress. That's it. Dress. dress. Okay, dress. and that's how we would pronounce that. Now, 
um, dresses, okay, um, uh, are you know typically long, okay, and they go they would go past the knee. If uh, um, you can have a short dress that goes goes to the knee or so, um, but uh, it's typically going to be a dress when it's one piece piece of clothes that go from the shoulders, okay, down to the knees or below the knees, okay. If it starts at the waist and goes down, that is a skirt. Okay, so a skirt. A skirt starts at the waist, okay, so the midsection, the waist, and goes down, but a dress starts up here on the shoulders and then goes down, okay? Um, typically, uh, women would wear uh, dresses, yes. okay, or, or a skirt, okay, so that, that's typically for, um, for women. Yes. Now, there are, there are other cultures um, that have uh, longer, okay, gowns. Okay, uh, is probably what with them with a gown. Uh, the woman wear. Uh, the woman generally wear special nights. Yes, they were they were special uh, special uh, um, linens or special. It's made of usually a lighter material. Okay, um, and uh, if it's very fancy, you can call that a uh, um, a gown. Okay, like going to a ball. All right, but that would be a, that would be a fancy dress as well. Okay. All right, um, and let's see. So we can call them gowns. Sometimes men in certain cultures wear gowns or they have skirts. They have different names for them. So people from Scotland, okay, that that would be a skirt. Okay, um, but, but uh, it's uh, they Scotland? they actually use those. Uh, yes, in Scotland, a skirt. Okay. Uh, yes, they have a name, no? The, a special name for this uh, skirt. Yeah, for men. I, I'm not exactly oh. sure what what it is, but yeah, they do have a special name for it. Mm -hmm. um, there are people in uh, Tonga, uh, Tonga, and um, I forget the other island um, that uh, do the same sort of thing. So the men wear wear a skirt there. Uh, it's not a skirt; they have a different name for it. Uh, but yeah, it's. Uh, it's uh, it's it's the the way that the way that they dress there, okay. Um, but yeah, it it looks we would call it a skirt for lack of better words. But uh, yes, that's what they wear. But typically, uh, females would wear a dress, okay. Dresses start at the shoulders and they go to the knee or past the knee, okay. That would be a dress. A kilt. Right? Kilt is the name for. Ah, yes, that's a kilt. Yeah, very good, very good. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's keep going. Let's go to Mehmet. Yes, sir. All right, and we're gonna scroll down to page number two. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, okay. So let me let me scroll over. Ah, give me a break. Here we go. Okay. All right. What is this word here? A dress shirt. Good. A dress shirt. Dress shirt. It's a dress shirt. Dress shirt. Good. Now, a dress shirt, okay, is what men would wear. Okay. We yes. talked a little earlier that women wear uh, blouses, or they wear a they would wear a blouse. Yes. Okay. Men wear dress shirts. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, another way to call this would be a button up. Okay. A button-up shirt, okay. Um, uh, it would not be. It would not be designated as a collared. Uh, a collared shirt, okay, uh, because um, that is more of what we would call a polo, a polo or um, uh, or a uh, a golf shirt. Whoops, not gold, but golf. And that's uh, it's probably actually collared like that, uh, instead of with an ed uh, collared. So um, uh, yeah, so it's a it's a dress shirt. It's a button up, as you can see. Uh, use uh, yes, Lorena. Teacher, uh, I have question. Uh, when men 
wear dress dress shoes is is for for men and the women is blouses yes that's correct okay thank you teach sure no problem yes uh, women wear blouses and men wear dress shirts okay um, and uh, yeah so uh, uh, this here would be the collar okay uh, we would not call this uh, a collared shirt but it would be more of a button-up shirt okay you have a pocket here okay usually uh, one pocket sometimes you may have two one on each okay. side okay and then uh, usually they will be a long sleeve shirt okay sometimes you will have um, uh, a short sleeve okay sometimes that uh, uh, you may see that but in most cases it would be a long sleeve button-up shirt or a dress shirt okay, okay. Um, let's uh, uh, let's go to our next word here all right and let's see uh, Lorena um, what is this word here at most Good, good, yes. Ear, earmuffs, earmuffs. Earmuffs, earmuffs. This is my earmuffs. <laughs> yes, earmuffs, good. Ear All right, muffs. so, um, class, okay. what uh, what are earmuffs used for? To, to, to protect your, your ears from the cold. The winter time. From the yeah, winter time. from the cold, from, from the winter time. Yeah. From the snow, yes, they keep your ears warm. Yes. Okay. Um, who uh, who in class has used earmuffs? I use it. Uh, who is that? Who uses earmuffs? Okay, uh, Mehmet. Yes. All right. He uses them. Okay. Um, I I've never used them, uh, but I've lived in the snow. I just don't like having things on uh, on my head. Okay. I don't wear hats. Okay. This is probably as close as it to that I get. And it took me a while to get used to having headphones on. Yes, at that. The same. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm not. Uh, I typically don't wear something on my head. I don't wear necklaces, uh, earrings, anything like that. I just don't like having extra stuff. It uh, it took me a while to get used to my wedding ring. It's like, what's <laughs> 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 Yeah, what's what's that? Where you live? You are living in Costa Rica. Uh, yes, I live in Costa Rica. What is uh, there's uh, weather. It's cold or? Uh, no, it's it's uh, it's perfect. It's about uh, 20, uh, 22 to 25 degrees mm. Celsius. It's my country, not every time hot. Oh, Sometimes yeah. It's winter is very hot. Okay. Yeah, sometimes, uh, um, uh, well, I, I used to live in Arizona, and Arizona was really, really hot. Okay, um, and so I never, I never even had a pair of earmuffs, okay, um, or a scarf or anything like that. Um, but uh, in in Utah, it was really cold. But I don't like to. Uh, <laughs> that was funny. Um, but I don't like to uh, use them. Uh, I never use them. Uh, I did use a scarf, okay, but that was about as far as I would go. Um, I wouldn't use uh, anything else. But uh, yeah, they're used to keep your to keep your ears warm. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's do one more before we uh, end uh, in class. And uh, this is for Liliana. Earrings. Earrings. Good earrings. All right. And uh, there are different types and sizes and shapes of earrings. Um, now. Um, uh, Liliana, what uh, what kind of earrings do you like to use? Do you like to use uh, big ones that are that are really round like that, or smaller ones? Uh, round and sometimes big ones. Depends on the occasion. <laughs> That's I right. Like both. I like both. Uh, I, I would imagine, uh, Liliana, uh, what how, what kind of earrings do you like to wear? The the big round ones. Uh, oh, yes. sorry, Lorena. Lorena, sorry. Yes, Lorena. Teacher? Uh, what yes. kind of earrings do you like to wear? Do you like uh, big I, earrings or small earrings? Uh, small earrings and medium earrings. Okay. Yes, my my wife likes big earrings. Mm -hmm. 
okay? <laughs> and I, I see most Latin women, yes. uh, and they like big earrings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fancy. Uh, in, in, uh, in Colombia, is normal? Normal that uh, some women use big earrings. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, and and I saw uh, some men uh, using uh, in both ears uh, around earrings, but I don't know what is the meaning that they use. Yeah, in both ears, round, yeah. little round earrings. Yeah, sometimes, uh, and it depends on the culture. Um, uh, let's see. Um, is it is it okay in uh, in your uh, well? Let's see. Uh, whose culture um, is it not okay for men to wear earrings in? Okay. Does anybody is it, does anybody have a culture where it's not okay to wear earrings? Uh, for for men, that is. Okay. Typically. In, in the United States, if you work in uh, in sort of a business environment, it's uh, it's not okay for for men to wear earrings. Uh -huh. Okay, you can wear earrings, it's okay, but they usually have what's called a dress code. Dress code. And if you and if you come into work and you have earrings in, they would uh -huh. they ask you to take them off. Okay, uh -huh. because they have what's called a dress code. What right? what means dress code? A dress code is a uh, is a set of rules for what you need to look like when you go to work, and uh, you have to sign off on that. So if you go to work for a company, they explain to you before you you work there. Some places they won't let you have a beard. You can't uh -huh. you can't have a beard. You need to be clean shaven, uh -huh. okay, and have a good haircut, okay, uh -huh. not long scraggly hair, and then no earrings and no visible tattoos. Okay, so if you have a tattoo uh, here or here, something like that, you have to wear long sleeve shirts to cover it up. This is USA, or um, in some places, uh, not everywhere. Okay. Uh, that's called a dress code. Depends All right? on the company. Now, company. Yeah, it depends on the company. Some in company. general, in the United States, you can wear whatever you want. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> and you can do that. But it's it limits you to where you can be employed. So if I have tattoos, if I have tattoos from here all the way over my body, even on my face, uh -huh. it's harder for me to get a good paying job. Yeah. It's not recommended. Mm -hmm. Okay? If I have earrings here, in my nose, in my tongue, in my <laughs> eyes, you know, things Piercing. like that. Piercings, if I have those, it's harder for me to get a job. Uh -huh. Okay. What, what is the? I have a question. What does it mean when men uh, wear or wear uh, earrings in both ears? It's like a fashion or what? What's the um. It, it, yes, it is fashion. Um, sometimes uh, when they only wear a, an earring in the right ear. Okay. Uh -huh. If they wear an earring and it's in the right ear. Okay. That means that they uh, that they would be um, uh, homosexual or gay. Okay, if they only have it in the right ear, only in the right. Uh, if they're wearing it in both, it's just a, it's just a fashion statement. That's all it all it really is. So, okay, all right, you guys, thank you for coming to class. Uh, I'm sorry we went, we went over just a little bit, but uh, yeah, I wanted to get at least one more done. But uh, I'm going to take about an hour off, and I'll see you guys a little bit later. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Tish. See you later.